air. Roll your shoulders back and around. Little warm up. We got some timed workout this morning. Roll it forward. And then take a twist to the side, pivoting. Foot, uh, hip, knee, toes, ankles. Reach out. Good, take your arms up overhead, big breath, arms up. Exhale, fold and push it back. Do that again, arms up. Exhale, push and fold. Again, lift your heart, bend your knees. Two more. One more, keep the arms back. Interlace your fingers, head down, arms up. Good, shift a little side to side, let your head go. And then release your hands to the floor, inside of your toes, turn your toes out and drop your seat down, bring your elbows inside the thighs. Just get down nice and low. I like to rock a little side to side, it's up to you. Come back to the center, hands on top of your thighs. Pull your belly in and round your spine. And extend your spine, round your spine, extend your spine. Good, high, round your back. Extend your spine, take your right shoulder forward. Where's Cindy? The, six, the, the reason we moved it. Take it over to the other side, it's okay. Round your back, pull it in. Good, sit a little bit lower one more time. Let's walk into a high plank. Your feet can come closer. Hold your plank, shoulders over wrists, we'll be here later. Hips up in the air, downward facing dog. Shift to a plank, downward facing dog, step your right foot forward, lower your left knee, arm up, twist, getting a nice release in that back hip, good, take that same right arm, bring it down to the forearm on the floor, good, open it up again, twist. Take the right arm to the forearm on the floor or towards the floor. Right arm down, left leg straightens. Step back, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward. Right knee to the floor. Left arm opens up, twist. Left forearm to the floor. And right arm opens up again. Left forearm to the floor. Both hands on the inside of your foot. Step the left leg back, high plank. Downward dog, hips up in the air. One more time, right foot forward, left knee down, right arm up. Good, bring the forearm to the floor. Take the twist, hold it. Lift the back leg up. High plank, both arms down, feet back. Downward dog, last time, left leg forward, right knee down. Left arm opens, twist. Left forearm down to the floor. Left arm opens, twist. Lift the right knee off the floor, hug the hips in. Left arm down, high plank. Downward facing dog, hips up. Walk your hands back to your feet, back of the mat. Forward fold, let it go, shake out your head, yes and no. Once again, release your arms behind your back or inflate your fingers, palms together, knuckles away from you. And then roll up slowly. Knuckles down to the earth. Lift your chest up. And down, okay, here we go guys. So we've got um, a little bit of a timed workout. We've got 45 seconds of the first exercise, which is a squat. The second exercise is a squat with a pulse, so you're just gonna stay down low or as low as you can. Use weights, don't use weights, it's up to you. The third exercise is less time, but a little bit more intense. So it'll be a squat with a pulse and a jump, or any variation that you're going with, okay? So we're gonna start with just some basic squats. Weights or no weights is your option. Get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Weight back in your heels. Now you can do any squat that you want. You can do a neutral stance, you can do your toes turned out, you can have your legs together. It's up to you, all right? And we've got two sets of this, so you might wanna change it at another point. That's it, you don't have to do a ton of them. So I mean, you don't have to go fast, because 
about halfway through this first set. All right. Keep it going. 15 seconds. I'm gonna give you a short break in between. Not too much. Just enough to wet your whistle. Three seconds. Nice in. One more. Good, come on up. Don't. Don't worry, come into a squat. Everybody ready? In three, two, one, go, pulse. So we're just gonna hold the pulse. If you need to come up at any time you come in, right? Just squat. Chest up, good. Get down nice and low. Let me make sure you guys are there. Good, nice guys. Sit down a little lower if you can. Let your elbows touch your thighs, halfway there. So it's a low squat with a pulse. Your feet can be turned in, turned out, whatever you like. So in about 15 seconds, you're gonna get a short little break just to set it up. You should feel this in your quads. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Stand up, shake it out. All right, we've got 30 seconds of nonstop movement if you can. We're gonna squat, squat, pulse, and jump. Ready? Three, two, let's go. Squat, pulse, and jump. If you're not jumping, just come up onto your toes. Do one little pulse. Good. Let's go. Your choice. You're halfway through. Let me see your options. Get low. Good, do what you can. That's it, Maria. You can add arms to it, guys, if you want it to be a little bit more high intensity or a heart rate. Three, two, and rest. All right, take some weights for rows. We're gonna go just through the sets and then repeat it another time. So get some weights up for rows and rear delts. And then we're gonna have a renegade row on the floor. So you may wanna go with a lighter weight. You got about 10 seconds to set it up. All right, grab your weights. Two arms, get ready to go in three, Two, let's go. Bent over rows. Good, strong. Elbows squeeze in. Head in line with your spine. Bend your torso, bend your knee, or don't bend your torso, just lean it forward. You're flexing it. Good. From here, you'll get a short rest. Change weights if you need to for a rear delt. Remember, this is 45 seconds of time, so you might get a lot of reps in that you might not normally get. We're working from one intensity to the next, and the highest intensity is a shorter amount of time. You got five seconds. Three, two, one. Good, stand up. Change weights if you need to for your rear delts. Feeling not so strong in those shoulders today. All right, pick up your weights. Bend over three, two, let's go. Reach the arms back. So make sure you're not coming up and down here. Knees are bent, head in line with your spine. We're gonna go through this set. We're gonna end up on the floor for renegade rows. You have the choice to be on your toes or on your knees for those poses, for those, those exercises. Bend over, bend over. That's it, dunk your chin to your chest if you need to. More, more torso forward, um, Joe. Good, 10 more seconds. Bye -bye. You got three, two, good. Come on down to the floor. Put your weights down on the floor. You're either gonna come to a plank or to your knees. Alternate arms in a bent over row. Uh, Renegade row, ready, set, go, everybody. Here we go. Now, if you're on your toes, get your feet wide so that you can not rock side to side so much. That's it, that's it. You're halfway through, guys. So if you're doing one arm, change arms. Five seconds, gang. Three. Two, one, jump.
Jump up and let it go. All right, you got time in between sets. We're gonna do a lunge right. You can do a front or back lunge. So it's just all to, uh, one leg doing your lunge, right? With or without weights. Then we pulse that lunge. Then we either jump it or you just hold it statically. You choose whichever way you're gonna do it. Ready, set. In three, right leg forward, two, one, go. So one leg, with or without weights is your choice, right? I'm just holding my timer today. So body weight, same leg, same leg. Now this one, I'm not gonna give you so much rest in between because we're just gonna hold it in one position. About 20 seconds. Hands up your body. Keep your hands free if you're not using weights. Just a couple more seconds. One more, then we stay out. Good, little pulses here. Little tiny pulses. Weight into that front heel. Make sure your knee's over the ankle, not your toes. On the ball of the back foot. Pressing low. Good, so you'll feel this quad. This glute's firing up. We're just going right through this. Then we're gonna add a little jump, or you're gonna statically hold it low. Or a little both. Hands are still off your body. You can move them. All right. 10 seconds, we go right into it. It's gonna burn, just know it. Deal with it. Three, two, one. Up, down, up, down. Or you can hold it, hold it, right? Up, down. Doesn't have to be a huge lift. Arms help. Arms help. Don't give up. Do something. You can do something. That's it, Maria. Good. That's it. I see those arms go in 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Bet you can't guess what's next. Other leg, yeah? All right, so we're gonna step forward and back with the left leg pulses, et cetera, et cetera. All right, take some water, wipe it down. You got about five more seconds. Three, two, let's go. Whoops. Left leg is moving forward and back. Trying to get left leg parallel to the floor, right knee down towards the floor, that will be great for some of you, and others will have to modify that. Keep it going. This one, we don't stop in between. We don't rest. We go right into the next exercise, which is just a pulsing lunge. 15 more seconds. Weight in your back heel, or your front heel, I should say. Balls of the back foot. Five seconds. Stay out, pulse. Small movement, low movement, low. Get your knees bent, good. If for any reason that's not working for you, just do a hip thrust and press it out, all right? If your knees are just not happy with it, we're gonna go right into our jump squat or jump split jump. 15 more seconds. Keep smiling. 10 seconds. Remember, you can just hold a low squat or pulse it or jump it, pulse it, whatever. Three, two, let's go. Keep it going, burn it out. Take your hands off your body. Good, up, down, up, down. Landing into the heel of the front foot. 10 seconds, that's all you got. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. 
All right, good job. Bicep curls, bicep curls, two arms together if you can. Biceps hammers, and then alternating fast hammers. All right, so pick your weight of choice. Another one, we're not gonna stop in between. We're just gonna run through the whole two and a half minutes. All right, everybody, here we go. Weights up, three, two, go, bicep curls. Curl, that's it. Ooh, nice and muggy out, isn't it, my Floridians? Good, full range of motion. If you can't do a full range of motion, alternate arms or go to a lighter weight. You don't have to go fast, just because the music sounds faster. 15 seconds to hammer curls. Take your chin to your chest if you feel tension in your neck. Change it to hammer time. Now you can do a cross body with, two, with one arm at a time, or I'd like you to keep with two arms as best you can. but I need you to do what you need to do, right? Keep the elbows in close. Twenty seconds. From here we just alternate fast hammers. Just burn it out. Five. Here we go. Alternating hammers, quick, quick, quick. Burn it out. Hang in there, 20 seconds. You can get your body involved. It's fast, it's a little bit of momentum. Yeah, it just goes from one side to the next. Get some power in there, guys. Three. Two, and one. Put your weights down, come on down to the floor, take your mats. Take your weights. All right. All right. So our first thing is a kneeling tricep. If kneeling doesn't work for you, sit on your heels or stay standing. From there we go to tricep dips. All right, everybody ready? One or two weights on your knees. Three, two, go. Overhead triceps. Elbows close to the ears. Good. If you're on your knees, tuck your toes. Elbows by the ears, palms face the ceiling. Try not to arch into your lower back. Now we go to tricep dips from here. So if you need to put a weight under your hands, that's fine. Or if you'd like to, you can, you should. That's it. Heading into five seconds. Three, two, one. Good, come onto your hands and your, or your weights and just do dips. Let's get right into it. Go, go, bend the elbows. Keep your hips close to your hands. Legs can be extended out in front of you. One leg in the air, two legs, well, not two legs in the air, but alternating. I will give you a short break, not to set up, just to give yourself a break in about 15 seconds. Bend the elbows. I'll also give you a second to change your cameras. Five, three, two, one. Sit down for a second, change your cameras if you have to, roll out your shoulders. We're back to tricep dips, but we're gonna add a kick to it. All right, so hands on floor or weights, up in three, two, here we go. We're gonna dip and kick, dip and kick, dip and kick. Keep it going, that's it. Keep your hips close to your hands. 
If for any reason you can't do this, go back to a tricep overhead or do some skull crushers, but keep your body moving or do a bridge. There's no such thing as I can't, you just modify it. Three, two, and one. Nice job, guys. Okay, roll those shoulders around. Grab some water, you're gonna go into a plank position. We start with ostensibly the easier poses or exercises. Not necessarily true. All right, plank can be on your forearms or on your straight arms, okay? Then we go to a kneeling or a straight leg push-up. Get ready, everybody. Three, two, go. You're holding the plank, shoulders over elbows. Belly is lifted, knees are lifted. Hold, not your breath. Just hang out there for 30 more seconds. Hold the plank. You're gonna get push-ups, I promise. <laughs> promise. I always keep my promises. Whether you do them on your knees or your toes is up to you. Wide position, close, is up to you. You got about 10 seconds before we go there. Five, four, three, two, on your knees or wide, go to push-ups or straight leg, I'm sorry. There you go. Head in line with your spine, look forward. Knees down is fine. Knees down is fine. There's a lot of these, right? It's a long time. Your very last exercise intensity level is up. You got 20 more seconds, I'll give you a short break. You're gonna be doing shoulder taps. So much like the renegade rows, your legs should be far apart enough that your hips are fairly stable. You could also do this on your knees. Three, two, one. Good, quick little stretch back. Get ready on your hands and knees. Shoulder taps alternating side to side. Come up onto your toes. In three, legs out, two, one, shoulder tap, side to side. Let me see. Good, try to keep your hips as parallel to the floor as you can. Widen the legs is the easiest way. That's it, Joe. That's it, guys, 15 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, come on down. Nice job. All right. So, last set, then we repeat. We have a single pullover, or it could be both arms, two arms. So you're on your back, you've got a pullover. The first one you could do in a bridge. Second one is with an alternate knee. Third one is all, single, single, double leg, single, single, double leg. So first one, if you wanna go into a bridge, you choose. All right, on your backs, pick up your weights. All right, no wasting of the time. Three, two, pullovers. Good. So again, legs where you want them to be. You could be on your back. You could be in a bridge. You can keep going there. You can have your knees off the floor, feet off the floor legs in the air, ribs towards hips, belly towards spine. Halfway. We're gonna keep going, but we're gonna add a single leg drop to the floor with a crunch. So you might even wanna drop one of your weights if you're using two weights, you choose. Three. Two, here we go. La, uh, arms back, legs come up, crunch. Good, one leg at a time, add a crunch. Good, Cindy. That's it, Joe. I can see the 
the rest of you are further away, but I can see you. Good luck. Nice work, guys. Single leg for the next 15 seconds. Then we have a single, single, double leg. Same action with the arms. All right, here we go. We're going to do a single, single, double on your own tempo. Good, so we go single, single, double, single, single, double, single, single, breathe, single, single, double. Five more seconds, that's all you need. Single, single, double, finish it up, and you're done. All right, come on up to standing. Move your weights to the side or use them. Come on back up for our second and final set. All right. We'll all be able to get out of here on time. Starting with squats, remember? I'm holding my timer today. All right, stand up. Readjust your cameras if we need to. First set is done. Now we got some muscle memory. Let's work on it. All right, here we go in five seconds. Four, three, two, squat. If you're not squatting, do bridge. If you are squatting, sit as low as you can into your heels, weight back, knees over ankles, not toes. Try to get your arms inside your thighs or on top of your thighs. Halfway there. Squats. Any way you want your feet. Close, wide, neutral, little turnout. 10 seconds. We're going right into the pulses, guys. Stay down. Little pulses. From the hip, not the top. Low. Keep pushing your hips further, further back, like you're gonna sit into a chair. That's it, that's it. Good, sit as low as you can comfortably, well, uncomfortably go. <laughs> 20 seconds, we go right into our squat pulse jump, or no jump, you're on your toes. Every once in a while, we throw in these little metabolic classes and you'll thank me one day. Five seconds, get ready to go. Stand up, good. Squat, pulse, and jump. Squat, pulse, and jump. Squat, pulse, and jump. That's it. Woo, yeah. Halfway. Yes, you can, yes, you can do this anymore. Add that little pulse. Squat, pulse, jump. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right. Rows, bent over rows. Rear delts, renegade rows. Those are our three exercises. Get ready. Bring your weights on. Let your heart rate come back down. All right, pick up your weights. Three, two, here we go. Bent over, elbow squeeze, chest lifts, knees are bent. Head in line with your spine or if you feel a lot of tension in your neck, chin can tuck just a bit. Good. I feel like I don't have to watch too much of this with you guys. I trust you a little bit on this one. Not too much. 15 seconds. I'm going to give you a break just to stand up and stretch your back. Five more seconds from 
here. Three, two, one, stand up. Short little break, short little break. Just stretch out your back, roll your shoulders around, stretch out your neck. Rear delts in a bent over position comes again. In three, two, here we go. Fly, keep your torso steady. So in other words, don't come up like this, yeah? Stay low, that's it. Tension in the neck, make sure your shoulder blades aren't lifting, first of all. Second of all, let your chin tuck towards your chest. You're about halfway there. We're gonna go to the floor for Renegade Rose, so I'm gonna give you a, a few seconds to set it up. But remember, it's only a 30 second move. Three, two, good. Take it down to the floor, hands down. You can be on your knees. If you're not on your knees, your legs are wide. Alternating arms or I will give you time to change legs. Ready, legs back, go, alternate. You can always be on your knees. I want to see you going. Put one arm back, then the other. That's it, that's it, halfway. Legs wide to minimize the wobbling. I'm not gonna say it's gonna completely, I mean, I'm wobbling a little bit. Three, two, one, back up to standing. Move your waist if you're not using them. We've got our right lunge. Right forward and back, or you can do a rear lunge. Doesn't really matter. You choose, all right? Catch your breath. You got 10 seconds. Right leg, with or without weights. In three, two, lunge forward, go. Lunge. You could be stepping back lunges. You could do a single leg bridge if that's your desire. Right leg only is the moving leg. Ah. Halfway. Weight into that front heel on the way to the ball of the back foot. 10 seconds. Right into it coming up. Stay in your lunge, little pulses. Good, tuck your tailbone under, bend that back knee, bend that front knee. Weight into your front heel and the ball of the back foot. This is your burnout phase, right? But we have one more burnout. 30 seconds more, yeah, wipe down. Low, stay low, feel the tension, keep it under tension. Time under tension, yeah? Hold it there for 15 more seconds, keep it going. Uh-huh, you know, you feel it. Good to feel, right? Means we're breathing living human beings. Five seconds we jump, or we're not gonna jump, but we're gonna hold. Three, two, go. So it doesn't have to be a huge jump up, and the landing is low, or just hold it, pose, hold it, right? Or keep pulsing. You choose. 10 seconds. Oh, you're back, Joe, good. <laughs> Three, two, one. Shake it out. Side B, side B. All right, just take advantage of recovery time. Heart rate should be going up, right? So we wanna bring it down a little bit, but we're gonna bring it back up. You got 15 seconds, shake it out, let it go. Enjoy recovery times, guys. Sometimes you want it so bad you can't get it. Yeah? All right, here we go. Left leg is the mover. Three, two, one, go. Lunge. If you're using weights, great. 
If you're not, let your arms go with you. You know, it's just like when we walk, our arms go in opposition to our legs. When you're running, same thing. Halfway. We don't stop just yet. 10 seconds, we go right into our split squat. Pulsing. Stay there, pulse. Tuck your tailbone underneath you, push your hip forward. While you're there, you're gonna stretch out your hip flexor. So tuck your tailbone under, press down, work the quad. Whatever you want to do with the arms, preferably not on you. I know you feel this, guys. Bend the back knee more, Joe. You can do it. I know. I've seen it. Yeah, thank you. See, we can't cheat on Zoom. <laughs> 10 seconds. I can't either. Five seconds to our jumping. Here we go. In four, three, two. Here we go. Little pulse, little jump. That's it, up and down, straight up and down. Oh, Lauren, you're frozen, but I know you're there, right? 10 seconds. Three, two, one, let it go. Woo, onto your bicep curls. Biceps hammers and alternating fast hammers. You're back, Lauren, okay, good. I know in the Zoom world, sometimes things freeze on both ends. It could be my end, could be your end. It happens. All right. Weights ready for biceps. If the last time you noticed, you could do more, add weight. Ready? Three, two, go. Bicep curls. So these timed exercises, sometimes you need to go with a lighter weight to complete the amount of repetitions that you're gonna do, right? Because you feel the need to go faster, you don't necessarily have to go faster. Don't swing the arms, however. Curl. We go right to our hammers in 15 seconds. Five seconds. Hammer time coming. Ready? Hammers. Curl right to your shoulders. If you're doing a one arm at a time cross body, so be it, that's fine. Straighten the arms at the bottom of that lift. All the way down, Sin. All the way down. Again, because it's fast, we don't need to shorten the range of motion. I want to keep the range of motion, so maybe I go a little slower to control it. 15 more seconds, then we have those alternating fast hammers and those, you don't have to do a full range of motion. That's a little bit more momentum. Five seconds. Switching right now. Alternating arms. Yes, my body gets involved. Keep it going. Make it fast, one at a time. You got it, Michelle, come on, I know you can do this, yes. Yes, 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 that's it, guys. Last, five, three, two, one. You're on the floor, ladies and gentlemen, if you're there, out there. All right. Grab what you need, weights, Towels water, first set is the kneeling triceps or sitting triceps or standing triceps into tricep dips with or without your weights underneath your hands. 
Back, Joe. Okay, I see you. All right, guys. Here we go. Oh, Cindy, safe driving, safe trip. Bye. I'll send you the thing if you want. All right, guys. Let's just get this going. All right, pick up the weight. Three, two, one, let's go. Overhead. Elbows bend, straighten. Hands behind your head, weight down towards your feet, palms to the sky, ribs tuck under. Give you a few seconds when we need it to get to our seat, to our tricep dips. Halfway, a little bit more. Ten seconds. Three, two, and down. All right, come on down to the floor. If you like to put your hands on weights, that's great. Nothing wrong with that. All right, it also gives you lift so you have more range of motion to go. Ready, everybody up? And dip, go. Legs can be straight out in front or further out in front. They could be in, they could be up, they could be crossed, right? Or just where you are. I think we're having met, uh, some yeah, Zoom issues today. It's okay. It happens. Halfway. Remember our intense set, or a more intense set, is less time. Hang in there for 10 seconds, guys. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Five seconds. I'll give you a break. Three, two, rest. Not long. We go back to a tricep dip with a kick, alternating. You can make the kick faster or slower, but remember, it's still a tricep dip. Hips up in the air, hands on your weights or floor. Begin. Bend, kick. Keep going. That's it, that's it. Bend the elbows, don't forget to bend the elbows. AKA tricep dips, 10 seconds. Five seconds. And rest, oh. Okay. Let's turn it over. If I was you, I'd wanna be me too. Onto your hands and knees or forearms. Plank. I'll give you 15 more seconds. Grab some water quickly. Don't skip out on the next five minutes of exercise that you have. That's all you got left. Five, not even five minutes. One minute of that is recovery time. All right, guys, on your forearms or straight arms, plank, three, two, one, go. Push through your forearms if your forearms are on the floor. Engage your quads. Engage your abdominal muscles. Lift your pelvic floor muscles up. Stay strong. You're about halfway through. You could do this, crown of the head to tailbone. Lift your knees up. The other day we did 30 seconds. All right, you're gonna beat that time because you can so do this. You got 15 more seconds. Then we have the push-ups. So you choose to be on your knees or on your straight legs. Five more seconds to push-ups. Three, two, let's go. Push-up, go. So if you're on your knees, tuck your toes, crown of the head to tailbone, one long spine. If you're not on your knees, your toes are tucked under and you're getting as low as you can. That's good. Keep your hands over your, or your elbows over your hands, shoulders over your elbows and your hands. Good. Keep your head long. 15 seconds. I'll give you a short break between this and our last intensity. But you got eight more seconds here first. Sit back on your heels. Good. All right, last one is shoulder taps in a plank 
or on your knees. Legs wide if you're in a plank. Even with your knees down, you probably have your legs a little wider. All right, everybody up. Ready? Shoulder taps, go. Two, go. That's it, guys. Joe, good. Just shift your shoulders over your wrists a little bit more. Uh-huh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Five seconds, gang. And rest. All right, last exercise, pullovers. Pullover variations. First one is just little arms. You can be in a bridge. Um, you can have your legs up or down, you choose. 15 seconds. All right, one or two weights for the pullovers, wherever you are. Three, two, go. All the way back, over your head. They touch the floor, unless you were on a bench of some sort, where they may not. Just straight pullovers, arms go back, ribs tuck under, Keep it as core active as you can without overdoing any lower back arching, you know, anything like that. 10 seconds more. We're gonna go right into the crunch. You may choose to drop a weight. So put your feet onto the floor and then start pull over, single leg crunch, single leg crunch. Pull over, single leg crunch. We're gonna keep going, guys, so you might have to go adjust your weights because we're gonna go into single, single, double as our last set pretty quickly in about 15 seconds from here. Don't forget your breathing, five more seconds. Then we just add single, single, double, maybe pick up your pace. Here we go, single, single, double, go. Notice our last exercises are a little faster. In time, we know that. In the effort we put into it, we move a little faster Keeping that heart rate going up. Five, four, three, two, and one. That's all she wrote. Good job, guys. All right, on your backs. Hug your knees into your chest. Woo! Good, take your feet to the floor. Take the soles of your feet together, open your knees out. Take your arms in line with your shoulders, cactus arms. Palms up, lengthen out the spine down through your tailbone. Keep the arms as they are. Bring your right knee to your left and twist a spinal twist, but open up your shoulder a little bit more. Switch sides. Come back to center. Stretch your arms over your head, legs up in the air. Tailbone down, reach away from your center. And then grab a hold of the right shin or ankle or thigh, left leg down. Head and shoulders lift up towards your right leg. Flex and point. Knee to the chest. Good, arms back overhead, legs up in the air. Reach, 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 reach. Right leg comes down, hold on to your left leg anywhere but your knee, lift your head and shoulders up.
Lower down, both knees to your chest. Good, hug them in nice and close. Grab as close to your elbows or you can, wherever you can. Start to rock and roll through your spine a couple times. Cross over, come to your hands and knees. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, tuck your toes, arch your back. Exhale, round and curl, cat pose. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round and curl. Let's hit a downward facing dog, hips up, chest towards your thighs. Just like we did in a warm up, downward dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. Fold in half, arms behind your back, palms together, knuckles up over your head. Wherever they go, I can't say definitely it's over your head, but some of you will. Keep the arms together as you roll through your spine. Point the knuckles to the floor, lift your chest. Good. Release your arms, roll your shoulders back. Take your arms out to the side, thumbs up, then palms up. Palms down. Thumbs down, palms facing front, right over left, hug yourself, open out, left over right, open out, arms all the way up, interlace your fingers, turn your palms inside out, reach, reach, reach long, and exhale, press the air down. Give yourselves a big hand. You guys are done today. Wednesday, hump day. Stay home, stay fit, stay healthy, and get vaccinated.